Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a building showcase video, and like for the past week, I've been working on, do well actually I did a Island Paradise like Let's Play or playthrough, so my first time actually playing on this expansion pack, which was actually very generously gifted to me uh, by our viewer, so, which is really nice. <laughs> so we um, ended up doing a playthrough on this, and I wanted to do a pirate ship, I thought it would be pretty fitting. So this is pretty much the end result from this past week's uh, of worth work, uh, which we actually started with um, the sim I created. His name was Judd Terrell, which ended up passing away from old age. So he had a full life lived. And actually, he completed a lot. Not only did we get to build up the ship, which I could have decorated a little more, but regardless, we did get to unlock like all the islands too. So spoiler alert, if you guys haven't played on this expansion pack just yet, um, kind of showing you a little bit of the islands. I'm not really going to go into detail and show you them, but I'm just kind of showing you that usually those are all like, you know, like that one in the far back. I think that one too. They're like usually covered in like fog and stuff. So pretty cool. The only one I didn't actually get to unlock the natural way, which is you have to be a lifeguard and you have to save 35 sims, which I didn't do because if you guys uh, may or may not know, uh, this map is actually like really laggy. The routing is actually like really bad on this map. So when you have like however many sims it starts with, it gets it just gets it gets pretty bad. Like my game would freeze up a lot, like constantly. So I just what I did was I decided to fix the problem, which my way of fixing it was by bulldozing every single residential lot, except for the ones I just placed back here recently. Uh, but throughout the most playthrough, like, I just kind of wiped out all the houseboats. I uh, deleted all the lots, which I guess I could show you something like that one was. That was something. So all I did was just, like I said, bulldozed, moved out all the sims, and boom. Then you got a nice, steady 60 FPS. Well, depending on your computer. But generally, I had a really nice experience, which I just got rid of everybody. Once it was, like, just my, my sim only, just my family, that was it. It was, like, no problem. Like, I ran on speed number three. I was pretty consistent FPS. So, honestly, if you want a performance, uh, I guess, tip for this map, just delete everybody. Bulldoze all the lots and get rid of every every sim on here. If they're paparazzi, make sure your testing cheats enable true is on, and then just delete everybody that you see. So, anyway, I have about 20 um, sims on this island now, and it's, it's getting a little laggy now. Um, so, anyway, let's go over the boat, though. So, it was pretty fun, though. Actually, it wasn't too bad to build. This was definitely a lot cheaper than our last building showcase video. That house was like a couple hundred thousand smoleons, I believe, where this actually is valued at, okay, about 46K right now. So it's really not that bad. I made a little crow's nest for it. Here, I'll show you. We got the helm of the ship here, right here, and I was able to style it, so it's got a little bit, like, some wood details on it. I made the floors look like they're kind of scratched up and used, and I gave them, like, a darker tone. A lot of the uh, exterior wood has a lot of darker tones to them, because I just felt like if it was, like, exposed to the elements, and it's always on in, in the sea and the water and all that kind of stuff, I just felt like that might be fitting. Where here, it's kind of hard to notice, but if you look closely, um, the lower panels of the wood, as they go higher, you'll see it kind of fades like, it goes from dark to medium to light. So I tried to kind of... I don't know, I figured that was a nice little detail to kind of showcase it was sitting in water a lot. So, I don't know. Uh, whereas the inside, which I'm going to go ahead and show you the captain's quarters, which is right here. This could also use some more decoration. And there's some other things that I wish I could have done... Well, that I could have done better, but I just couldn't really... I didn't really... I don't know. I think there's there's definitely room for improvement here. So, like, these little squares, I mean, if you guys can figure out something to do with them, you can't place any, like, floor here. Um, and then I thought, like, if I delete them, it might look weird with the stairs. But then again, it might actually look fine. I just felt like kind of tucking the stairs in a little bit with the walls might make it, I don't know, about the design, really, is more so what that is. So... Didn't mean to go down there that extra step. Anyway, so it could use more decorating, but this is kind of what I did. Kept it simple. This is actually Judd himself, Captain Judd Terrell. He was a good dude. Really good dude. He was definitely an ocean person. You know, a sailor. That's what he is. So we had a couple kids, too, and I kind of just made that work as well. Uh, then we have the main deck over here, which, of course, the two uh, staircases. We have a lot of lighting, too, so at nighttime it's kind of lit-ish, <laughs> but it looks it looks nice. It's fitting. Here's the crow's nest. See, what's really fun, too, about, like, driving this houseboat, too, is, like, I can go into camera mode. Like, you can go to, just go to, ta like, press the, uh, the tab key, and you're in camera mode. So, like, while the boat's moving, you'll actually kind of move with it, with the camera, which is pretty cool. It's a really cool experience. So you kind of feel like you're aboard the ship while it's moving around and, you know, traversing the, uh, the map, which is really cool. Uh, another thing is you're going to get used to is the bobbing of the boat, if you can see that. So a lot of times around, like, speed number three, which I'll show you. So if your sims are, like, sleeping, it's going to be like this. So it kind of, like, moves around a bit. So it's it takes some getting used to. So 
Yeah, and they're unfortunately, so they're still going through the loss of Judd. So, uh, here's the first floor. Now, this is kind of what this originally was the living room, which is now turned into the sleeping quarters for the kids because I had nowhere else to put them. And initially, I was planning on actually having the kids maybe stay on an island. Like once I unlocked like this island or something, I was gonna maybe turn it into a house and go from there, and then maybe turn it into a resort eventually. Which more on that in a sec. So, um, and eventually it just kind of turned into a sleeping quarters, which actually. To be honest, this would be really good if you had, like, five Sims living here, or maybe even six. You could have, like, the captain and his mate, and then you could be, like, the four crewmates. Of course, it would be very packed and very, like, claustrophobic feeling with all those Sims. But generally, it would be pretty cool. It'd fit the look, you know? kind of works. And then over here is the kitchen, which I'm going to go into tab mode here. And you can kind of see firsthand how it looks. we got a nice roof ceiling. Wait, a roof ceiling. we got a nice wood ceiling. <laughs> so all those little details matter, in my opinion, there. So... Made sure to ke catch all of that. And I also wanted to use lighting that was a little bit more, like, authentic looking. So I felt like these lanterns would be fitting for the house. So I decided to go with those. And, of course, I did lighter, as I mentioned, lighter wood colors on the insides and the floors. Now, I do still have scratchy floors here. That's what all the lighter tones there is. But it's definitely a lot lighter than, the like, the outside wood. So as you can see here. But, yeah. Because I figured, you know, this is inside and these are, like, the elements and stuff. So... Now then, um, so this is, there's a couple little extra rooms here. So this is like the loot room is what I usually kind of called it, but I just threw a, a sink in there. So I actually bought this sink a while ago with Judd to teach him how to do like handiness. I bought him a handiness book and then we just played around with this. So tried breaking it for the longest time and it would not work. So it did not break when I, when I wanted it to, I was actually convinced for a second there, like can items, can like appliances or objects break on a houseboat? Sounds like a dumb question, I guess, but generally I wasn't sure. Like, I, I kept trying to break in. It was not breaking, so without cheats. This is the other side I'm using as the all-in-one bathroom, so I figured that would be a great use of the space. Uh, this side, like, I wish I, I don't know, I wanted there to be more use. So I guess if you guys download this and you want to play on the houseboat, I feel like um, this would be a great little loot room. But you could also do the same up here. You could put, like, a series of... Um, shelves here, and you can put like your rocks in there, your seashells, whatever you find if you do scuba diving, stuff like that underwater. So that would be a good use too on the left and right side of the bed. So I mean, it's really going to be up to you guys. Um, yeah, back here you can fish. You can also fish a little bit in the front. This is an unofficial dining area. I just never sold this dining set. I mean, I had it from my first houseboat, and I just threw it out here to get it out of my way while I was building and doing interior and all that good stuff. So, and it just kind of stayed there. I just forgot about it. So when I was doing my interior work. I just figured uh, I'll leave it there now, you know? Anyway, um, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's pretty much the boat, though. I mean, this crow's nest does work. I can have a sim. I'll actually even show you. They're really heartbroken, though, right now, so we're probably going to hear them crying a little bit. It's sad, but here, let me show you. It's cool. It's cool. I could definitely add some more value to it or add some more, like, function, maybe, by putting something up here. But right now, there's, there's actually nothing. Oh, look at that. It's not going to work. You know what? I wonder if it's this, because I, I recently put these back. So let me get rid of those. Let's try that again. I knew it. So it looks like you can't have a fully, um you know, a fully enclosed crow's nest. I actually use uh, shelves to do that, too, because I want to make it look like I had a roof, and, you know, I couldn't really, the normal roof tool did not look right, so I used, I used shelves. <laughs> so there you go. This crow's nest is useful for basically nothing. You only you only can stand there, and that's really it. I don't know. It's a cute little detail, and it works for the most part. So, I mean, that's really it. It's a, it, There's really not a whole lot to talk about for this house, but that's pretty much the way this goes. I guess if you guys want to hear about this, this is the resort. So, more less, less about the build and more so about the expansion pack as a whole, how it, it actually introduced you to have the ability to create your own resorts. Now, it's cool, and it is definitely a cool experience, but overall, you have to just know that your guests are numbers. So according to this, my finances, I have 121 occupants in my resort, which I really don't if you want to look at it in terms of how many physical sims are actually here. We don't have that many sims actually living on this lot, so it's actually just based on numbers, which is kind of a disappointment if you expected to run a resort full of people and you made VIP rooms and you want to set up a huge pool and just kind of deck it out with stuff or however you want to make your resort. You're not going to see like 50 or, or more sims here. Well, maybe, I mean, maybe you could. 
I'm just saying you're not going to see like 100 sims. Like how this, whatever number it says that you have in your finances, you're not going to see that many sims actually hanging around because apparently it would definitely cause a lot of lag, which makes sense. I mean, let's be honest here. Usually maps kind of start out with around 90 to 100 sims. I think Sunset Valley starts out with that amount. So just imagine having that many sims all like, I guess, concentrated in one area. It would definitely cause a lot of problems. So I, I could see that, especially on this little island. I could see that. So, but I guess less about that. I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty much that, though. I mean, it was still fun. It was fun, like, experiencing the resort, but it definitely is a little disappointing when you know you can't really have all those guests and interact with them and kind of see them doing their thing. Cause, but it's, it's still pretty cool, you know, having your own little bar pool thing and having your own hot tubs and the firewalks, the, the food. <laughs> so I just made sure – I just made one buffet table per um, food type. And then I just made it all the highest quality. So, yeah, I made sure to cover every single food type here. See? We got breakfast, lunch, dinner, sushi, dim sum, vegetarian, dessert, and kids. Got it all. Good stuff. And then we have a little, a little uh, pool back here, too. That was my first one. And, yeah. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> so about the house. That's pretty much it. I'm not entirely sure what pack-specific content this offers so or has in it. So that'll all be actually on the website here. I'm going to actually put the link to the download to this boat in the description box. So if you guys would like to download it, you're more than welcome to. And I would you know, love to hear your feedback on that if you guys are a fan of it or how you guys feel about it. I just thought the pirate ship was perfect and is a great fit for the um, topic of what we were doing. Just the general idea of this expansion pack. I think a pirate ship is pretty fitting. So... Uh, yeah, all right, and it could definitely use more decorating and improvements. So if you guys want to maybe put your own flair to it or decorate it however you want or just play on it how you want, totally up to you. So I'm going to have that up on there for you guys, and that's pretty much it for uh, for this week's building showcase video. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I guess let me know what you guys think in the comments. And maybe even also let me know what you guys think about Island Paradise, the expansion pack as a whole. So, oh, look, a little a paparazzi. So here's what you do. I think I, oh, wait, wait, testing. Cheats enabled. True. I bet you it's paparazzi. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping for it. Wait. Oh, he is. He is. It's Kent. Yeah, he's gone now. So that's usually what you do. All you gotta do is delete everybody, and you're good to go. Performance will, like, it'll be so much nicer. Just get rid of everybody. Just delete every sim that's not yours. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. So have a great day, night, morning, wherever you guys may be. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>